So today is Tuesday and it is currently about 10 o'clock. I'm just doing my thumbnail for the Hair Vivi wig video because I had sent the video for approval and they came back to me and they are happy for me to upload the video. So I'm just doing the thumbnail right now. She actually literally said, ah, oh, she made my day. She was like, um, oh yeah, I've just watched the video and oh my God, you look so beautiful in that way. <laughs> said she was shocked at how good i looked <laughs> ah so that literally made my day anyway so so i normally use canva to design my thumbnail i don't know what other people use but i think a lot of people use canva and i don't pay for it i used to pay for it but now i just make use of the free features because there's a lot of free features um sometimes i will actually take pictures specifically for the thumbnail when I'm filming, but a lot of the times if I forget to take the pictures, what I normally do is I just, once I'm done editing the video, I, t I just take screenshots that I could potentially use for, that I could potentially use for, I literally cannot multitask to save my life. Pictures that I can use for the video, for the thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just gonna do that first. And then next thing I'm doing, I, will be doing my makeup and installing another wig so the second wig uh let me show you guys here's the wig this is the one i was doing yesterday and i bleached the knots ah yo, it was the first time i was doing it i bleached the knots and i also did some plucking hopefully it's enough and i did this because i wanted to see if it's possible for me to change the curl pattern i'm not really sure if like there's a way to do it there's nothing wrong with the curls. I just wanted to see if it's possible, you know, for future reference. Um, when, yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing. And then later on, I'll just be editing the evening with me video because that has to go up tomorrow. And tomorrow I have my nail appointment. Finally. <gasps> Yo. Uh -uh. Yo, you guys. Mm -mm. Press ons, not for me. Sorry, not for me. Like my nail tech has been missing in action for a while like for a few months now and i literally texted her and i was like if you don't come back to work i will kill myself <laughs> okay no, i didn't say that but like of course that's an extreme but you know i was just i was just trying to tell her that i really really need to get my nails done like desperately okay these are actually nice let me show you guys what i'm doing so, so i have uploaded um so these are the pictures. These ones are the ones for my previous video. And then these ones are the ones for the new video. And I just want to see. Thank you. 
previously come here and I had seen a humidifier
This is so cute. This is a candle. Oh, this smells so nice. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Called Witch's Curse. I think I'm gonna get it. Oh, oh this is so pretty. Look at this, it's a little mushroom. It smells so nice as well. I don't know what scent it is. I'm gonna get it. Anyway, so those are my nails. And then also, um, just to show you guys, I got this pretty flowers from Rose Forever, New York. So I will leave the details in the description box if you'd like to you know probably send a rose arrangement to someone or get yourself one they're so beautiful i've actually had them for a few days now and they're still intact they're so pretty and they're in this velvety box these are a really nice deco and they're based in new york and they're able to ship to the uk so make sure you check them out very very beautiful once again from Rose Forever, New York. Love them. <laughs> so anyway, let me show you guys what I bought. Um, I got, I hadn't planned to buy all these things if I'm being honest with you guys, but we're here, here we are. So I went to, oh. So first I went to TK Maxx for some candle shopping and I ended up getting this candle. It's called witch's curse <laughs> and it's in the scent blood orange it smells so good i just hope it lasts it kind of reminds me of it kind of reminds me of um what's it called ariana grande candy you know the 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 is it called candy ariana grande's perfume the one that's in a pink bottle that one anyway kind of smells like that but yeah that's how it looks like i'm gonna burn it and then i'll see if the scent actually lasts and then i got this mug <laughs> because i just wanted something that's gonna be aesthetically pleasing when i'm doing you know when i'm filming my videos you know it's so pretty beware i will be overusing this it's, you're definitely gonna see it in my videos trying to look like yeah i'm aesthetically pleasing or whatever and then next thing i got um okay next thing i got was this dressing gown um yeah this is how it looks from the inside it's like a pink looks whitewashed on camera but i got this because i was replacing <laughs> um the robe that i stole from my mom two years ago and i've never returned so yeah this one is for my mom because i took hers but um i'm probably gonna end up stealing this one as well hi mom so yeah got that and then um i've been meaning to get this for cleaning my my brushes so got this then got another candle this is the same brand as the one that i have there it's also sand and fog and this is cinnamon pumpkin i wanted this either for the kitchen or the dining because it kind of smells like food literally cinnamon pumpkin it smells really good then i went to boots um got some Listerine and then got some sheer butter deep conditioner this is what I use this is the intensive hydration hair mask in Manuka honey and Mafura oil or whatever 
man got um pixie glow tonic so irritating um then i got the pixie glow tonic my mom used to actually use this toner but i got it it has um five percent glycolic acid i got this because i want to use it on my underarms <laughs> that's why it's this tiny um and then i got some exfoliating gloves and then i got this vitamin c brightening moisturizing cream and the reason why i got this is because of tiktok so if you're on uk tiktok there's this girl who came out to say that this is the only brightening product that has worked on her and when i say brightening i don't mean bleaching i mean like if you're suffering from like hyperpigmentation and stuff this is the one thing that has worked for her this is the first time i've gone into boots and it was actually there because it's permanently out of stock so it was the only one remaining so i took it <laughs> so i'll actually try it and see if it's any good um can you just open yeah i'm gonna try it we'll see if it's any good and then i'll give you guys feedback if you're interested yeah so if you're interested in finding out if it actually works ask me in a few probably in a week in a few weeks or something then i got some um cocoa radian vaseline and and then i also got this food buffer because i thought it was pretty and i'm gonna be doing a shower routine video and i just wanted to have a prettier nail buffer than the one i have right now so that's why i got it but yeah that's basically it that's all i got i actually thought it was a lot more than this but anyway yeah so um tonight i'm just gonna be editing i have already eaten and now i'm just gonna go and take a shower and just come and sit down and do some editing for probably about two hours and then i sleep because i want to sleep early and tomorrow i'll be editing as well because i have three videos that need to be edited <laughs> so i really need to i need to get to work but yeah that is it for today i will see you guys tomorrow Thank you. Sure, obviously, no one's face is symmetrical, but I'll measure it off and make sure it looks symmetrical. Nah, it's fine. The, the thing is that the camera's Okay, there, yeah, so. awesome, cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'll just do a little measurement to make sure it is easy. I want to make sure it's nice. I told them that I was going to get a piercing, so. So you've got to do it now. Yeah, you're accountable, <laughs> that's the thing, isn't it? So the lower dot, I'll wipe it off so it's a bit clearer. But yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So, so I've I've measured it up, and it is obviously everyone's face is a little bit different. Yeah. But um, it's equal on your smile line, which okay. is this bit, yeah. and then also from the bottom of your nostril. Okay, I think I'll be able Yeah. Do I get that separately? Do I keep that separately? Or? No. So um, you can you can purchase a stud from me. Mm -hmm. Um, but I'll pierce with one of these. It's called a fish tail because if I pierce with a stud, they can drop out. But I just I still. I kind of feel scared, I don't know why. No, you, uh, so this is very random, like I literally just said, you know what, I'm just gonna get No, why not? <laughs> now your followers know, so you know that's what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have to put a clamp on. Now the clamp's probably one of the most uncomfortable bits. Yeah. Once that's on, it's just a really quick process. So, not... Right, this will be over and over really quickly. Lots of deep breaths. Well done. Awesome. Doing really good. Keep your eyes shut for me. I know the clamp's not great, is it? Bless you, sweetie. Keep breathing. Nice and steady. 
right, I'm going to push the jewelry thread. It's going to feel a little bit sore. Keeps it nice and still for us. You're doing so good. We're almost there. I promise. Last little bit. And you did it! Oh, oh no, she did it! Oh, oh careful! Shit. Right, Kimmy. Yeah, you. Yeah, it's alright. We sat back, okay? <laughs> yeah, I was hoping nothing took you out then. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, you can have a tiny bit of blood, so I'm going to give it twice a day, or if you get super sweaty, tea, tree, salt and water, that's two pounds. You can have that if you want. It's entirely up to you, yeah, I think. Yeah, no worries in the actual piercing it's itself. It's serious, because I also want to get a septum. It's, um, I would say, in terms of pain, septum's like one of the least painful piercings to have. Really? Yeah, because you have something for the sweet spot, a tiny, thin, little bit of um, sort of cartilage. Nice and yeah, yeah, th yeah, that's good. Do you mind if I take a photo to pop it on my Instagram page? Is that no, okay? I've got pay. Can I be okay? Um, it either has to be bank transfer. Or okay, then I can do bank transfer. Oh yeah, perfect, amazing. Oh, you guys, so I just finished getting the piercing and that's how it looks. I'm literally obsessed with it. Anyway, so I am about to head home. So there's a few things that I want to get. I will speak to you guys later, but I love the piercing. It was painful, it was quite painful. It was a lot more painful than this one. But it's okay. All good. So it's later in the evening, actually it's at night. I <laughs> just wanted to um, come on here and show you guys the things that I had gotten when I went to Boots. So I got the Fenty Beauty um, Fenty Glow Lip Gloss. I used to use this and then I stopped using it because I just thought it wasn't sustainable to be spending £18 on a lip gloss that I was using so much of and just kept finishing so quickly and I'm like I can't keep spending 18 pounds on a lip gloss but then the one that I normally use wasn't there so I just ended up taking the Fenty one and then I also picked up this e.l.f. Um, mineral infused face primer I've never used any e.l.f. product actually so it's gonna be the first time I'm using this one and I wanted to just try and see if it's actually nice but um yeah I am currently on my period so I'm really struggling to keep myself alive <laughs> so I'm just gonna um, go to bed right now as you guys can tell my energy is a little low but it's just because I'm on my period and when I'm on my period I just feel like I don't want to do anything yeah I will speak to you guys tomorrow let me get into bed hey guys morning it is the next day and I I'm just about to clean my face. I've just taken a shower, so I'm about to clean my face. Then we clean up the piercing. There she is, she's looking lovely, she's looking cute. Um, I think the swell, yeah, the swell has kind of gone down. In the beginning, I was really feeling like it was significantly, I'm looking at the mirror, by the way, that's why I'm not looking at you guys. Um, I was feeling like it's significantly um, higher than this one. But now, because the swell is a little bit subsided, I think it's sort of at the same level. It's just that this one is a lot more flatter. This, the actual stud itself is quite flat and also it's gold. So I feel like this one is sticking out a lot more. But still pretty, still pretty. I really love, I don't know what it is about me, but I love taking care of fresh piercings. Like the process of cleaning the piercing and you know making sure it doesn't get infected until it gets to a point where it's a big girl and it can fly away that's probably how parenting feels like you know when you take care of your child until they get to an age where they are an adult and a functional one at that point and a functional one for that matter am i really comparing parenting to a piercing anyway you get what i mean you get what i mean so i'm gonna cleanse my face first because i didn't do that in the bathroom and the cleanser that i'm using is the nip and fab um purify salicylic fix gel cleanser i have been using it for a while the one thing that i really hate about having um a nose piercing when it's fresh is when you accidentally like tag on it oh. 
and it's painful especially this one because it's protruding the stud is protruding a lot more than this other one oh dear it's crazy i just cleanse my face i clean the piercing after washing my face just so that i can remove any product residue because that's not safe for a piercing Oof. it's still quite tender it doesn't feel painful unless i touch it or i touch somewhere close to it all right so to clean my piercing so this is what i use to clean my piercing this is what i used to use on my nose piercing and it was recommended by my piercer piercer but the lady who did my first piercing my first nose piercing um i told you guys that i got this one in manchester at holier than thou but i got this one in loughborough um i've forgotten the name of the the studio it's just a saline solution and it says it's supposed to expire in 2023 so it's still okay so basically you just get a cotton pad i spray because it has a nose all over there so i just spray onto the q-tip yeah like that and because i am short-sighted and i don't have my contact lenses on i'm gonna have to like zoom in so you guys can see but basically i just put my finger in and lift it a little bit and then i just go around underneath piercing round and round <laughs> and then using the other side of the q-tip i just spray some more and then i clean the inside you should never use the same side of the q-tip because that's you're transferring bacteria yeah so just clean that properly currently there's no there's no more blood so it's okay but um yeah in the beginning if you're cleaning on the same day there probably would be like a bit of blood when you clean it up but that's basically it and i'm supposed to clean it um twice a day so in the morning and in the evening i've just cleaned it now i'm gonna clean it in the evening and this is what i use if you guys want to check this um silent solution out i will leave the link in the description box so yeah now let me moisturize my face i'm coming this is how i, sc I scoop my creams um with my knuckles you can do it like this but i find even when i do this i still get some products under my nails and i cannot stand that i just can't also oh my god you guys i have been using the fenty skin um what is it called butter drop whipped oil body cream highly recommend the only thing i can say is it's honestly quite pricey and i have been using it very sparingly a little bit goes a very long way so like you don't have to use too much of it and i have i have already oiled my body so i'm just oiling my hands now but what it feels like it's like it's a cream and then once you start applying it feels more of an oil oh and any product that's gonna make my skin look like i have been dipped in oil honey butter and a bit of shimmer that's the one for me let me go and have breakfast i will catch you guys later